Hey guys, this is Ashton here, your anime enthusiast for Nerd Swag. And lately I've been getting a lot of questions about um, what manga and anime I'm reading or watching, and if I knew a certain manga that they were reading, or that person was reading, or if um, I knew all these various different types of manga and anime. Um, and so I'm here to, to give you guys a video um, about the uh, manga I am currently reading, or I have read, and some of my favorites. Um, now, mostly, I read a lot of shonen-based manga, and watch the same kind of stuff. Um, uh, not necessarily all of it's shonen, like Attack on Titan isn't shonen, and I read that. Um, Slam Dunk, um, I believe wasn't shonen, maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, I know... Um, there's various other ones, like One Punch Man is not considered uh, actually shown in either as a uh, um, freezing. Um, but um, I don't read a lot of um, like lifestyle or like high school type um, type manga. It's kind of boring to me. I like I like to see some action. Um, I like the, I like conflict and that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna jump in here and start off with. The ones that I'm currently caught up on. Um, so first, um, the ones I'm currently caught up on are Attack on Titan, which I'm sure you guys have heard of um, as of recently, since it was a pretty big anime that came out, and the manga is still going, and the anime is going to come out, I believe, in 2016. And it's pretty much about a kid named Eren, who um, lives in this society that's protected by these giant walls to keep these giant titans from destroying humanity and that's pretty much the gist of it and he joins um, the army which fights against the titans and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff happens if you haven't read it I suggest I highly suggest you go read this one because this one has probably one of the best stories of any manga out right now according to me because that's <laughs> that's what I know so um, next is Bleach which I have been reading for probably about 10 years now um, and it's almost over, it's in its last um, arc um, in Bleach is pretty much about um, Soul Reapers which it's not your traditional American Soul Reaper with you know the, the scythe and all that stuff a Soul Reaper in this is a person who is from um, a different dimension and um, they come and they free the souls of people who have just passed away and um, in that they also have swords which I guess um, substitute for the the scythe that the modern day Soul Reaper has and a whole bunch of different crazy stuff happens um, and there's this kid named Ichigo Kurosaki who can see Soul Reapers and can see ghosts and he stumbles upon a Soul Reaper and accidentally gets uh, gets their powers and becomes a Soul Reaper and it takes on from there um, now the beginning of the series is really good, but um, toward the end, after a certain battle, um, it gets pretty, pretty bad. But now it's gotten pretty good again. Um, the only thing I have against this manga is it moves super slow. Each chapter, like, is is a, a normal amount of pages for a weekly manga, but it's just a lot a lot of stuff does not happen in those chapters like it's this is one of the mangas you'd probably wait a month to read and then just read through all of it and you would probably feel a lot better than we reading it weekly like I do okay now next um Magi Labyrinth of Magic is something I've been reading probably for the past six months um I saw it on Netflix and I started watching it and it turned out to be pretty good so it only had the first season on Netflix, so I continue reading it, and um, I have caught up, and it's actually really good. Um, it's it's morals and it's um, and its story is very similar to the one of Naruto's. If you guys have read, read Naruto, which I'm sure you have, um, and it's very um, story driven and very. Um, modern it has a lot of modern day morals and situations and issues brought into it so it's very it's very throwback but it's very updated so it's really good the animation's really good um 
I highly suggest you go check that one out. And another one I've been reading, which has just started in the past mm, month or so, is Narado Gaiden, The Seventh Hokage. Um, now this is a story based after the war. Um, if you guys, this is a spoiler alert, so if you guys have not read the whole manga, which the manga's over, um, and are just watching anime, I would suggest you skip forward a few minutes. Um, but um, this is based after the war. In the fight with Kaguya, Narado is now the seventh Hokage. And um, we get to see Boruto, who's his son. We get to see, um, we haven't seen, um, we haven't seen um, any, we haven't seen, what is his, her, his daughter's name? Hamari or Humori? I don't remember how to pronounce her name. Sorry for that pronunciation. And we haven't seen Hinata, but we have seen Sasuke and Sakura. And we have seen Sarada and Boruto. Um, and it pretty much is... I think this is a lead up to the new movie that's supposed to be coming out this summer um, because there is a new threat, someone who was higher than Kaguya who started the army, the Zetsu army, um, and now they are trying to find out who is this new person. And it's actually pretty good. Um, it's still written by uh, Kishimoto, so um, it still has the same feeling, still has the same art style. and. Um, is continuing right now and I'm caught up on it and if you guys didn't know about this I highly suggest you start reading it I believe it's only on the seventh chapter so if um, you didn't know about this you can go catch up really quick and it comes out every Thursday just like um, the previous Narado series did so if you haven't yet go check that out um, and the last thing I am currently reading or currently caught up on is One Punch Man um, now this is probably my favorite manga out right now um, it is about, um, I'll just read you the synopsis. This story follows the life of an average hero who manages to win all battles with only one punch. This ability seems to frustrate him as he no longer feels the thrill and adrenaline of fighting a tough battle, which leads him to questioning his past desire to be strong. So this guy, um, was, previous to this, was a guy who wanted to become a superhero, and he trained like crazy to become one, and now he's like, super strong just off like basic like training like going to the gym and like hitting a punching bag and um and now he's probably he's only considered a b class hero right now a top notch b class hero but he's really like the strongest person in this he's like a he's like the an s class hero the strongest s class hero by far um it's really good it's really funny has a lot of action um and is really different from anything i'm really reading right now because of the uh, type of humor and the type of characters it has in it is really different. Like, the main character is totally not your typical manga, anime, like, badass main character. He's, like, a complete... He's not an idiot, because that's kind of shown an issue, but he's very just whatever. He's blah, 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 you know? So that's it from the ones I'm currently caught up on. Um, now the ones that I'm in the process of catching up on... Um, these ones, I don't know if I'll ever really catch up on because they're, I'm so behind, but um, we'll see. Um, so starting with the first one is Assassination Classroom, which I've talked about on this channel. Um, now this is a story about a um, this being, this alien being who blew up the moon and he's down on Earth. And he said in a year's time he's going to blow up the Earth too. And he's like this squid-looking octopus type creature. And he's kind of funny. He's kind of weird. He can move at the speed of sound. Um, and um, he's teaching this classroom of kids how to become better assassins. So what they're trying to do is take his teachings and assassinate him so he doesn't blow up the earth. So it's pretty interesting. Um, it's not really a set storyline. It's a chapters based on the main topic, but they're very loosely based it's fair it's like each chapter has its own different thing going on but at the same time the kids are in the end trying to assassinate him so it's pretty interesting um i really got into it for a while but then it kind of got boring so i'm trying to get back into it and at least catch up so that way it won't be as hard to read when it comes out on a weekly basis next is something i just recently got into about two weeks ago it's called freezing um now, it's about these girls um, who have these powers, and um, they're called Pandoras, and they, uh, they um, 
defend the Earth from these alien invaders called Novas. And these things, um, apparently could do these things called freezing, so where it can, like, um, create this barrier to where you can't move. And, um, these Pandoras also have a partner, and they, um have the ability to also create freezing and the partner is usually a guy so the girl is the Pandora the guy is the freezing um, person and the guy freezes the Nova so they can attack and kill the Nova um, it's pretty interesting um, the main character is about this girl who doesn't ever want a partner but she ends up getting a partner who has this crazy ability of freezing freezing without um, without bonding with the partner usually the guy has to bond um, do some kind of ceremony with uh, Pandora in order to uh, activate his freezing, but this kid does not need that. He can just freeze anything he wants to when he's under a stressful situation. So, it's pretty interesting. It has a lot of action. It's kind of etchy, um, which if you don't know, it's like very revealing. Like it's like, um, like it shows a lot of girl parts, if you will, which manga in Japanese culture is already kind of known for this kind of like um, goes on that um, it's not really that bad and if it that doesn't bother you then you should be fine reading this um, but it's a little I, w I wouldn't want anybody probably under the age of like 13 to be reading this because it's a little revealing but it's if you're like my age like in your 20s and you read manga this is fine for you um, but I would highly suggest this one. It has great action, and I'm currently catching up in it. So, and I believe this is a monthly one because each chapter is like thirty something pages. So, um, yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see how that one goes. Um, next up is a highly critically acclaimed one, which is actually ended already. Um, but I'm just now catching up. It is called Kuroko no Basket. It's a basketball um, manga. Um, I was very I was. I was always looking into this one, but uh, after reading Slam Dunk, I really didn't want to read another basketball manga because this one is, or Slam Dunk is so good, I and mean, it's like one of my favorites of all time. But um, this one has actually surprised me. I'm probably about 10 chapters in, and it's actually really good. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be as good as Slam Dunk. Um, after I finish this one, I'll probably do a comparison video for you guys comparing and what and contrasting the two mangas and um, giving my opinion on which one's better but um, right now this one's really good um, it's about a basketball team who has this kid on who just moved to back to Japan from America to play basketball and there's this um, team that was in Japan called the team of miracles um, or generation of miracles excuse me and they were all like extremely talented and um, now they have split up to go to different high schools. So now um, one of the guys is playing with the main character. And those two want to take down the rest of the people who are have switched to the other uh, schools of the Generation of Miracles. So um, it has a really good like starting point. Like It has a really good goal, which I find it's something needed for a really good manga. It has to start off with something good. So, um, this one's definitely kept me intrigued, and I would say go check it out if you haven't yet. Um, yeah, and also check out Slam Dunk, because Slam Dunk is probably one of the best mangas of all time. Um, next up, and lastly, for the ones I'm currently catching up on, um, is Tower of God. Um, now this isn't your traditional, your traditional manga, it doesn't even have like a manga style, like the drawing is not really manga-esque. Um, but it is about a boy who is going... It's it's very similar to, um... What is that, um, new... That new anime that just came out, um... Um, Sword Art Online. To where, um... They're not in a video game, but they have to travel up this tower to the top floor, and they have to beat every mission on each floor in order to get to the next floor, and they have to go all the way up in order to be able to get out of the tower. And, um... You, have the, you follow the story of this kid named Bam and his quest to the top and he's meeting all uh, several people taking on these different quests in order to make it up to the top floor. It's pretty interesting um, and it's pretty funny. And if you're looking for something with a different uh, art style, this is definitely something to check out. Um, Tower of God. 
Um, and that's it for the ones I'm currently catching up on now. i um, just going to skim through here and go through my all-time favorites. Um, starting off with Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, of course. Um, you have Naruto, Cowboy Bebop, um, which does have a manga, surprisingly. Um, Full Metal Alchemist, a Slam Dunk, Trigun, and, of course, my all-time favorite, Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, now, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you guys want to leave in the comment section down below of manga or anything I should read, um, let me know. And uh, also, I did post on Anime Amiibo and also on Facebook of suggestions um, you guys made. And the only ones I got really were from Anime Amiibo, so, which is an app you can get on your phone. Um, and it's like a forum for people who are into anime and manga. And um, I got two suggestions here and what they're reading. They're not really suggestions, I guess. But um, P minerally, um, or P minorly, I guess. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, says he's reading One Piece right now, um, which I would start reading that, but it's already like 700 and something chapters in. So I think um, if I do do anything, I might catch up in anime, but it's even really far in anime too, so I can't really say um, I would do that. But um, I have checked out the wiki synopsis and all the stuff from the wiki, so I might get back into that, so that way that catches me up and I can just jump into the chapters. Um, and also Epic Epi, or Epic Epish, <laughs> Epic Epish Pish, that's his name, or her name, um, says, I suggest the Almighty Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I've heard of this, actually. Um, I'll have to go read the synopsis and see if it's something I can get into. Um, thank you for your guys' suggestions. And um, if you guys have any more suggestions after watching this video, leave them in the comments section down below. Um, if you guys have any anime or anything related to that um, that I should be watching, or you thought was pretty uh, cool, or even if it was bad and you thought it was really bad and I should never watch it, leave that in the comments section down below. Uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel, NerdSpike, to get everything nerd-related. And until next time, you guys, peace.